food and sustainable agriculture. Food issues are twofold. How are we growing our food is the first issue, and are we adequately testing food to make sure they are safe for consumption? Are we killing the environment, or is the environment killing us? That's the question involved in food discussions. When we look at what we eat and how we grow it, we find extensive evidence for a damage both to our food from pollution and soil depletion and to our environment from the toxicity of growing foods industrially. Americans demand cheap food, so American agricultural policy for the last 30 years has focused on providing large amounts of inexpensive calories. Two of the cheapest sources of calories are corn and soy, which is the federal government has long subsidized and which makes up a large percentage of our caloric intake today, often in the forms of high fructose corn syrup or soybean oil. Corn is also a large part of the diet on the animals we eat. Corn and soy are prized because they can be efficiently grown on vast farms, but growing just one crop consistently, something called monoculture, depletes the soil and forces farmers to use greater amounts of pesticides and fertilizers. The effects of pesticides and fertilizers on natural wildlife and our water supply is well documented. Currently, there is a dead zone in the Gulf of Mexico where no fish or other animals can live, and it is approximately 9,000 square miles or the size of New Jersey. This dead zone is created from all of the chemicals from agricultural lands washing off into the Mississippi River and making its way down into the Gulf of Mexico. Increasingly, the foods American eats come from far away. Shipping our food from long distances and processing it not only contributes to air and water pollution, but it actually takes away the nutrients found in the food. Ecologically speaking, we are squandering the nutrients taken from the soil, and we are not replacing them fully. Commercial fertilizers focus on nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, but provide little else, so they essentially simplify the biochemistry of the soil. We have broken the ecological link, whereas the nutrients from the soil use used in growing foods are consumed locally and then return to that soil as compost and other waste. The second issue has to do with food safety. We're constantly hearing about food recalls for contamination, E. coli, salmonella, botulism. Who is responsible for keeping our food safe and free of microorganisms? Is it the government's responsibility? Is it your responsibility? Is it the grower's responsibility? All of these different issues involved with food and agriculture will be discussed this week. 